All right, welcome to Wheel Throwing. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the stuff that you're going to need for your first day of wheel throwing. Um, the first thing is you're going to need a little bowl, not too small, not too big. You don't want it to take up too much space on your um, wheel. And you're going to need your name on the side of it. Your hour number is helpful too. That way, if you forget it or you leave it out, I know who it belongs to and we can get that back to the right person. Um, <clears throat> I find it immensely helpful to have a, a dryer towel. You know that our towels are not very absorbent here in the classroom. It's not good uh, to have one of those close by. It doesn't really dry much. So I, this is an old towel I got from home. Um, <clears throat> your tools. You're going to need all the tools that I gave you at the beginning of the semester. Please clean them off. I know they haven't been cleaned in a while. You guys like to have dirty tools. Um, we need your rib. You need one with the right angle on it. I like that one. Some of them, you know, are, are curved on the back, but this is going to be more helpful. And make sure that it has points at the corners instead of rounded edges. I'm not a big fan of those rounded edges. Some people grab those. Later on, you're going to need your large trimming tool or your loop tool. The uh, medium loop tool also will come in handy when you're trimming. You won't need those while you're throwing very much. You need your sponge, your metal rib of death, needle tool is indispensable and you absolutely have to have your um, wood modeling tool those things will come in very handy a couple of other things um, if you have any jewelry on you can see that's what it's going to look like when you're done um, it'll be all caked full of clay any bracelets take them off and put them in a safe spot don't leave them on the table uh, anyone walking by could mistake it for their own jewelry tends to grow legs and walk away Ladies, bring some hair ties. You can tie back your hair. Gentlemen with longer hair, uh, you want to tie your hair back too. And unfortunately, uh, you will have to, if you have long nails, trim those babies back so that they're not longer than your actual fingers. If you can see them from the back, uh, I guess that's the back. If you can see them from the front, trim them down. It's the easiest thing to do. It's going to make you um, much better at throwing. And on our first day, we're all going to watch a quick demo from me, and we're going to sign up for a wheel. I want you all to be at one wheel um, for the duration until you get good enough to start switching wheels. So that's the things that you need to get started. Please have those ready when you come in on the first day of throwing.